I'm Patrick Norton from Tech Thing, and I'm here on Digital Trends today to show you some Windows Task Manager tricks. By the way, Control Shift Escape brings up the Task Manager, which, as some of the Digital Trends audience pointed out to me on the website, is way faster than Control Alt Delete and selecting Task Manager. If you can't stand keyboard combos, I gotcha. Right click on the taskbar in Windows 10 and select Task Manager. Now, most folks never get past the little tiny Task Manager window you see right now. And hey, if you're just looking to kill an app that's locked up your system, this is all you need. Just click and highlight the app that's locked up and hit the End Task button or right click it and select End Task. Boom, the app that locked your system up, it gets killed off, shoved off, disappears, and now you can get on with your computing. Or just relaunch the app and get back to what you were doing. By the way, when you're right clicking, know that checking always on top keeps the task manager on top of your other windows. It doesn't keep, say, Chrome, Word, FUBAR 2000, or any other app on your system on top. Ready to get to the cool stuff? Click on the arrow next to more details down at the bottom of the task manager window. The task manager window gets a lot bigger and you've got a lot more to play with. The first tab, Processes, lists everything running on your machine. Wondering what's using all your CPU power? Click on the CPU tab so the arrow is pointing down and you'll see what's eating your CPU from the biggest consumer all the way down. Right click on that bar, the one with name, CPU, memory, disk, and you can add additional columns of information. Command line shows you where the .xe or the actual file for an application lives. Publish tells you who wrote the application. Now, if you see something, say, really weird process that doesn't have a name I'm familiar with, oh my goodness, is that a malware or a virus on my system? Just right click on that process and select Search Online. More often than not, it'll be a background process or an app associated with another app on your machine and you have nothing to worry about. Windows behaving weirdly, say you can't use the taskbar or the start menu won't work, scroll down the processes list until you find Windows Explorer and select Restart. It's there to kill and relaunch Windows when your other apps are just fine. By the way, if you're doing this a lot, it's probably time to reinstall Windows. Now, the Startup tab lists every app that launches when you start Windows. Startup Impact, graded as None, Low, Medium, or High, lets you know if it slows up Windows booting. Just right click and disable if you want to stop it from starting up. Just remember, if you disable something, like Dropbox, you'll have to launch it manually or it won't be running in the background syncing your files. Speaking of speeding up Windows, you've also got a performance tab that tracks CPU, memory, disk, Ethernet or Wi-Fi, Bluetooth if you're running it, all sorts of good information. Not only does it tell you how much CPU or memory is being used, it'll tell you what CPU you're running, the clock frequency, how many cores or processors it has, how many of your memory slots are being used by the memory you have. Oh, wait, you can add more RAM without replacing the sticks you already have? Cool. Click on disk to see how much space is left on your drive, or what brand or model it is, and how fast you're writing to it. Now, if you need to share that info for troubleshooting or to show the boss you really are maxing out the RAM and it's time to buy more, right click, select copy, and you'll get a snapshot of info you can send in an email or over Slack. By the way, if you want to get your networking geek on, right click and select View Network Details when you're in Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and you'll get a real-time look at network utilization, link speed, and much, much more. Hope you found some cool and useful stuff inside the task manager you didn't know about. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Patrick Norton for Digital Trends.